Okay, so the purpose of this video is to talk about finding the binomial CDF. Okay, binomial CDF is the cumulative distribution frequency. So it's binomial CDF, cumulative distribution function. Now, we're going to assume that X is a binomial random variable with N is 10 and P is 0.3. So we're um, going to play a game 10 times. The probability of winning each time is 0.3. We're going to do a multiple choice test where the probability of guessing a question right is 0.3. Um, and there's 10 questions. You know, any, any story type scenario you want to come up with that this, this will fit. It's a cumulative distribution function. Now, I've got a separate video that you can look at at the binomial PDF, where I say, what's the probability that X equals five, that you win five times? This is a cumulative distribution function. And you'll notice here on the right-hand side, I've listed the number zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, okay? If I wanna find the probability that X is less than or equal to five, that means I wanna find the probability that I win five or fewer times. Keyword here is gonna be or, fewer. Now I have to go on a little grammatical kick. Okay. Um, if you have less money in your wallet, there might be fewer bills. Okay. Less is singular, fewer, fewer is plural. So if we want to be five, X is less than or equal to five, that means five or fewer. We win five or fewer times. That means that we would win five or fewer times. So we'd have to find the probability of zero, the probability of one, two, three, four, five. Find the probability of winning the game zero times, one time, two times, three times, four times, five. We have to add those all up. Fortunately, the graphing calculator has a feature that will take care of that for us. Where we're gonna go is to the same place we go with the binomial PDF. If you look here at VARS, okay, we want that VARS button. We wanna go second VARS because we want that distribution on there. Second VARS. And we're gonna go down this list and if you watch my other video, binomial PDF is option A, binomial CDF is option B, cumulative distribution function. And it's going to look the same. Okay, There's not a lot of words here to prompt you. You're going to have to remember how many trials. There are N. There are 10 trials. P is the probability of success, 0.3. And then X is the number of, of successes. So it's going to be five. Now, again, you have to remember in the CDF, that it's or fewer. So less than or equal to five is five or fewer. Paste. So the probability of five or fewer successes is 0.9527. Four decimal places rounded correctly. That's the probability of one success. I'm sorry, zero successes, one success, two, three, four, five successes. And we're adding all of those up. Okay. Now let's talk about the probability that X is less than three. That's not three or fewer. It's not what that is. Okay. Less than three would be the zero, one, or two. So that would be the probability that X is less than or equal to two. That's the probability that X is two or fewer. And this is the adjustment that I need to make in the graphing calculator. So second distribution and we're going to go down to the b binomial pdf 10 trials 0.3 is the probability of success and we want two or fewer and so that's going to be 0.3828 three decimal places round rounded correctly okay what about the probability that X is greater than or equal to six? Greater than or equal to six means all of these here. That's six or greater. The calculator won't do that. The calculator will only do or fewer. So the probability that X is greater than or equal to six. Well, wait a minute. Let's think about this. Here's the five or fewer, six or more. Notice that this category here and this category, that all of all 11 of these values should add up to one. So I can find the probability of five or fewer. We've already done that. Okay, here's the probability of five or fewer. 
okay, 0.9526, this is going to be 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 5. In other words, you should remember, right, we, we've all gone through math, less than or equal to, less than, greater than or equal to, greater than. The feature in the graphing calculator that does the cumulative distribution function only does less than or equal to. Only does less than or equal to. The calculator only does the less than or equal to. Should I say that again? The calculator will only do less than or equal to. So what I need to do is 1 minus that 0.9526 or 0 0.0473, okay? Now, if I'm gonna do this in my calculator, probably what I would do is go one minus second distribution. Also know, by the way, I can go alpha B, and we'll select alpha B, 10 trials, probably the success is 0.3, five or fewer, paste that, and now notice we've got one minus the probability of five or fewer will equal the probability of six or more. Okay. Lastly, what's the probability that X is greater than six? Well, greater than six is only the seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's going to be one minus the probability of that X is less than or equal to six. Okay. So I want only the seven, eight, nine, ten, which means I'm subtracting the other probabilities from one. So again, um, I could go back and do one minus, go back in the PDF. Since I've got this set up from last time, also understand the calculator, I can reselect that entry. And now I want one minus six or fewer. And that's 0 0.0106. Four decimal places rounded correctly. I hope that that makes sense. The big thing is remembering over and over and over the binomial cdf feature in the calculator only does or fewer it doesn't read your mind greater than less than okay um if you want to write a program for your calculator you go right ahead just please share it with me but that is a look into the binomial cdf on the graphing calculator